Now, chances are you may have a vegan guest to one of your holiday parties. BC has more people living a vegan lifestyle than anywhere else in the country. But if you're not vegan yourself, how do you accommodate? Well, to help us out, Hannah Rakowska. She's a registered holistic nutritionist is with us today. She's also the nutrition manager at Choices Markets. Hannah, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's so what's, to be here. what's going on? I'm sure you're seeing it too. Why are so many more people switching to a vegan diet and lifestyle? Yeah, it's plant-based diets or vegan diets are like all the rage right now. We have 40% uh, of people in British Columbia, 35 years and under, are actually identifying themselves as vegan or vegetarian, which is really, really staggering. So we're leading that revolution right now in British Columbia. And there are so many different reasons for that. Uh, they range from ethical reasons to environmental to uh, health reasons as well. Okay. People making that switch. And what about you making the switch? Yeah, that's an interesting question. I made the switch when I, was, I went through a cancer uh, diagnosis in my 20s. And I researched diet and uh, kind of really became um, informed about the impact of diet on cancer and that kind of made me make the, the biggest switch of my life wow. entirely, yeah. And also probably professionally. And professionally that, as well. That led you yes. to this. So what about yes. that, that link then between diet and, and our health? There are so many studies now, hundreds of studies that are showing the link between chronic disease and, and diet and that about 80% of most chronic diseases are preventable through a healthy lifestyle and diet. And uh, plant-based diets are a very cost-effective, um, effective strategy, actually, to help prevent and halt and even reverse some of our chronic diseases, um, including like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and, um, and even some cancers. Well, and it can be fun and it can be tasty as yes. well. And that's what you're here to show us yes, today. So what did you be. bring? You've got guests coming for dinner and they're saying, uh, by the way, I'm vegan. Because a lot of people do put out those <laughs> messages now uh, when they send the invitations, any dietary restrictions, that kind of thing. So what do you suggest? Yes, it can be very, very intimidating having a vegan guest at your dinner table. <laughs> um, but it doesn't have to be that scary. So I'm here to show you three different appetizers that you can make easily uh, for your holiday party. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we have a cashew cranberry cheese ball without um, cow cheese. It's cashew cheese. Then we have some yam bites with pesto, kale basil pesto. Okay. And then we have some vegan stuffed mushroom caps. So, so without going into full yeah. recipes, this basically you grind up a bunch of cashews and find something that's going to bind them together and Basically. roll them in some more nuts. That's right. That's it. I mean, that doesn't, I know that doesn't sound that elegant. It looks, it looks pretty cool and people are used, that's what you want. You want something to spread on a cracker or that's right. on a piece of vegetable or that's something right. like that. That's going to work out. That's right. That's so here we have, um, we just pre-soaked some cashews and you basically process them with miso paste, nutritional yeast, uh, lemon juice and some garlic. Nice. And you let it sit in the fridge, you mold it, and then you roll it in some cranberries and uh, toasted pecans. And that recipe is actually on our website on choices.com as well. All right. So we, so we don't have to easier. go into all of the details. No. You've got that. Go to the <laughs> Choices website and you can find that here. Exactly. But tell me a little bit more about these ones. These ones are yam bites. So all I've done here is just sliced up a yam in quarter inch thick slices and topped it with a processed. Uh, or not processed, in a processor, mm -hmm. um, pesto. Oh, I see. So it's a kale, walnut, and basil pesto. And I added some sun-dried tomatoes just for that festive color. Do you roast the yams first and then chop them up, or do you slice them and then roast them? Great question. You do bake them first or roast them, yes, and then... And oh, then hold, hold, and then cut. So you don't want them to be too, too soggy because exactly. they, they have to be able to hold. Okay, I'm going to have a little sip of this one, or sip, a little bite of this one. Go for and, it. And uh, <laughs> tell me about what this is on this plate. Okay, and here we have um, vegan cheese mushroom stuffed, or mm. uh, mushroom caps are stuffed with vegan cheese. And here I've just used a tofu cream cheese and um, mixed it with some sautéed onion and garlic as well as a vegan Parmesan cheese made of cashews and nutritional yeast. Uh, those recipes are also on our website. Okay, on Choices that's good to know. Now yeah. you've got the the substitute cheese ball over there, the cashew yes. ball here, but you, you don't have to go through all the trouble to to, to make it make it up in your kitchen. <laughs> you can buy these pre-made pre exactly. and all the rest of the spreads as well. Yes, Some of the spreads have. you could just, again, put some vegetables out and then have some vegan spreads that people really would normally go to the cheese that's right. Uh, platter, you could go to something like That's this. Right. Now, what are these? These look kind of meaty or something those, over there. What are those? Those are ready-made. Try your mushroom in the meantime. I'll go for it. Those are ready-made uh, mm. vegan appetizers that you can get at Choices Markets. Uh, to all 10 locations should carry them. Uh, they are, the orange color is a take on chicken wings. So those are buffalo, fruffalo wings. 
and uh, we have some corn dogs and we have some quinoa balls as well. Well, so it can be really easy. It can be a whole <laughs> new territory for some people though, Hannah. Right. So Choices is offering kind of nutritional tours now. Tell me about that. We do. So if uh, people have any other questions about, you know, changing to a plant-based lifestyle or just uh, healthier choices in general, we do offer complimentary 60-minute nutrition tours across all 10 locations with one of our fabulous nutrition consultants. And they can take you through and uh, guide you and help you navigate the world of plant-based nutrition or any sort of dietary pattern. It's nice to have a guide sometimes. Definitely, definitely nice to have a guide. Definitely. Now, now, part of your philosophy as well it includes giving back, doesn't it? You have a, a charity that you donate to? We do work We do work closely with many different charities. Uh, right now, we have a campaign called uh, Star of the Season, and we are it's a till fundraiser, so $2 at the till that you, uh, people can donate to local um, organizations that support families locally and there's 11 of them so it's a really really beautiful cause during the Christmas season and that's on until the 24th of December. It's convenient too, right? Yes, it is. Do your Hannah, a very happy holiday to you. Thank you, you so much Thank for uh, guiding us through how to make everybody happy when they're coming over to your house <laughs> over Thank Christmas. You so much. I'm going to finish with another okay. of these mushroom caps. Wonderful. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so much for having me. Mm.